Um, hello, thank you for having me here today. We will talk about uh, our inclusive communications uh, project. Uh, raise the hand if you use uh, Messenger app. Raise the hand if you don't use Messenger app. So as we see in this room, uh, Messenger apps are used by everyone. Um, but what is outside of this room? What is happening outside of this room? Uh, we see that uh, messenger apps are used uh, by almost everyone, uh, more or less by 70% of the people worldwide are using a messenger app. Uh, but why? Why are we using uh, messenger apps if we already have a phone? We believe that this is because uh, we can, by using messenger apps, we can send and read messages, uh, messages whenever we want. So, uh, Who's the rest that are not using Messenger apps? According to the World Health Organization, 1.3 million uh, billion people in the world have some kind of disability. This is one in six of us. And furthermore, 600 million people can access to new technologies because these technologies are not sweet for their special accessibility needs. Uh, maybe you know him. And um, by looking at his, at his picture, we realize that these uh, people has more to say than bring me to the bathroom or I want something to eat. And in fact, Stephen Hawking had uh, a solution because 20 or 30 years ago, someone developed for him a communication system, face-to-face -face communication system. But uh, as always happened, today, 20, 30 years later, we, we still don't have a solution for everyone. And uh, we can say that uh, people with disabilities are more or less left behind. So what is the need? What is the need of distance communication? Uh, it's very obvious. Everyone is using distance communication every day. So, and this is not only a case of uh, uh, people with disabilities. Uh, we have caregivers, businesses, uh, institutions, that wants to connect with them, and they want to access the patients uh, in a, a faster way every, every, every day, every, everywhere. So they want to need the, 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 the need faster and uh, offer a better service. Um, uh, we have already some kind of uh, alternative communication for people with disabilities, but it is based on pictograms this is very useful, used, for example, in the US by more than 2 million people. Um, but it is uh, communicating with pictograms, is used um, for uh, learning and for face-to-face -face communication. So for distance communication, we need something else. We need something faster and easy, uh, easier to, to use. Um, that's why we are uh, developing our first inclusive messenger application worldwide. And it, we use, we use uh, pictograms as well, but we uh, combine these pictograms with AI to uh, make the communication easier and faster uh, uh, to communicate. So we are using AI and to comp and autocomplete. AI is suggesting uh, answers uh, to, to, the, to the questions of the, of the caregivers. Our application can be customized to the needs of uh, the user, to the special needs of the users, and runs in tablets, cell phones, and later on uh, AR glasses. In this video, we will see our application uh, being used by a, a patient and a caregiver. The patient is using pictograms, and the caregiver is answering, like in a normal WhatsApp, with text and, and voice. So Thomas is using pictograms, as you see. And then uh, Andy is answering with text, just with the same software. Uh, well, as, as I told you before, uh, we need to scale this, this, uh, this solution everywhere. So that's why we are offering a very affordable uh, business, uh, very affordable pricing based on our subscription, and we offer also B2B. Uh, we are also in B2B because the foundations, caregivers, uh, businesses wants to connect with these people, and they need also other services like uh, advanced reporting or alert management. 
well, I don't want to bore you with the market size and so on, but I have, uh, as I told you before, 600 million people uh, in one side, uh, on the other side, uh, much more. So this is a lot. And we are first concentrating uh, in Germany and Spain, maybe later in the US, and we expect to have uh, 1 million euros market share by the end of 2025. Um, we have uh, analyzed our competitors. Uh, we have, uh, for example, messenger apps. Uh, messenger apps are free, are already scaled, and special for distance communications, but, but they are not um, inclusive. And on the other side, we have uh, pictograms, devices that are very useful for inclusive communication, but they are not good at distance communication, and they are not scalable because they are too expensive for, for, for all. And this is our team. We are an international uh, team with uh, different backgrounds and with a passion for innovation, sustainability, and social progress. Every one of us has worked before in social projects. And well, this, uh, what I can tell you is that uh, we are attracting a lot of talent just because of our mission. Uh, we have always, they are asking us to join our team. And if I can tell why, uh, this is just because of our mission. Uh, Roadmap. After 20 years developing innovation, innovations, I know that uh, a roadmap is very hard to fulfill. But what we know today is that we have already our beta version. We have already our first, uh, first uh, 20 customers in Germany. And by the end of the year, of uh, beginning of next year, we will, have, we will release the application in the Apple and Google Play Store. Uh, later on, we will introduce other uh, technologies like, uh, um, like AR uh, glasses for the people that cannot uh, have no mobility on the hands. So one year ago, almost one year ago, as we began the journey, we, we were alone. Today, it looks like this. Uh, we have a lot of partners, uh, customers, and institutions that are helping us. Uh, for example, in Germany, Stiftung ICP Munich is a foundation that cares for people with disabilities and are helping us quite good. And on the left side, on the right side, sorry, uh, corner, we have Ticum Alam. Ticum Alam Makers is a global movement that works improving the lives of people with disabilities. Uh, well, uh, working uh, in this project is amazing. We enjoy every day, but this is uh, also very challenging. So we need help. We need help for, from investors. We need help from need knowers, innovators, and foundations. So if you want to join us, help is just a test away. Thank you very much.